Okay, today we're going to use a different method than before. We will be able to recover our device without needing to use a PC. A completely updated method, which is what we're going to do in this video tutorial. We're going to use a method without a PC. Also for those who want to see other additional methods. We will leave other methods in the video description and in the first comment. Side so that they have other options to carry out these processes. We have a PC method and a PC free method. The first thing we're going to do is give our device the root to. So that you can see that it is completely blocked since it has. A screen lock also includes a forgotten Gmail account. We're going to connect to a Wi-Fi network first of all to give it that full run. Because sometimes we receive messages saying that our device is not completely locked. So they can see that it is totally blocked. Let's connect to that Wi-Fi network. We're going to click here to jump. We click here, we click next, here we will connect. Now we're going to give it that whole tour, A. Eh? We also want to let you know that YouTube has enabled the member community option for us. For those who want to be part of our community. We recommend subscribing to that community since we would be posting. The video will be released first in the community and then on YouTube. Um, what would be the other benefit that we will be answering? Comments exclusively from that community. That said, what we're going to do is wait a few minutes. Seconds until reaching that screen lock. And then there's the Google account. As you know, we previously entered through policy and privacy settings. But that function is no longer working. Also the option where we entered through Google. Maps enters this we entered a locked SIM card with a PIN code. We would press emergency call and then call. In case of emergency we could enter through the option enabled by Google Maps. But that function through Google Maps is no longer working. These features are no longer being enabled. Since this is not being enabled, ah. Uh, we're going to use another method, a completely updated method. Here we can see that our device has. A screen lock appears below, it says to use a Google account. We're going to click here where it says use. Uh, Google account? This is an account you know that when we We reset our device, we had an email in our account. For those who still know that email address, you can write it here. Click next so you can access your device. That would be one of the options we could have. Recover our phone only up to this step. The second alternative, which also comes to us if you don't remember your email. And if you know the phone number you had. Once you've logged into that email account, you can write it here. You write here. You click next and you'll receive what? It's a recovery code on your cell phone. Don't have it, don't have the Sinchar inserted here because you won't get the message. It needs to be on a completely different device. You're not going to put the Sinchar in anymore. You had it here because that message isn't going to reach you. That said, let's go here where it says, forget Gmail. Here we can write anything, then we click next. Anything here, anything here too. We'll click next here, next. Then we'll wait 30 seconds. Once those 30 seconds have passed, we will begin the recovery process. We began our device recovery process. As we told you from the beginning of the video in the video description and the first pinned comment have other methods. Additional methods, PC method and non-PC method. For those who have not yet been able to recover their device. 
to do it using those video tutorials that we have left in that description. That said, what are we going to do? We're still going to enter through the blocked Sankara. But this time, this time we're going to use an alternative method. What would that alternative method be where? We will be able to enter with a SIM card. But we won't be using Google Maps or an emergency call. We're going to use a different method, we're going to withdraw the card, we'll withdraw it. After we remove that Sinchar, now we're going to. What we need to do is lower the notifications, we're going to click here. Where the date is located, where the month appears. Day, be it the calendar, we'll go in by the calendar. We're going to say no in the second option, now you'll see this adjustment option. Then you're going to give him these three dots. You'll see information here, and the second option will be to share. You're going to select this second option which gives you the option to share. Let's look here for a message to see what it says. It gives us the option here for a message. It seems that it's not offering that message option. Let's go back in, click on share, click here on Google. We click here on jump. Let's try it here in Hotmail, let's see what's going on. Let's try it here, up and down, to see if it lets us. Copy up and down. Here we're going to share it again. Now this message is appearing there too, it usually appears there as well, I've already done it. The process with, uh, on this device, another different method that we have done. But if the message appears, but it's not working here, it's in the first option. It's not giving the message that suddenly it was that it wasn't rolling anymore. But it is appearing here, in this other section. What we're going to do is click here where it says new message, and we'll write. We give here the number we have written. Then, being here. Now what we're going to do is this. Let's write now. www.youtube.com Don't worry, YouTube already lets us click. In most cases, it works when we click it. It's getting us nowhere now, if that's your case, you click on it and it doesn't give you access. So what you're going to do is click here on the URL, we're going to click on the URL. We're going to give you permission here, we're going to give you the ball quickly, we're going to adjust it. For those people who have the device a little with one less update and it will show update YouTube. What they need to do is format it and redo it. The process, since it's for the second time, will give you access. We're going to give you accessibility here, an access menu. Controls, we click on these blue letters that appear here. Accessibility menu, we enable this menu. We click here, now we have the accessibility menu enabled. We're going to open it for you. Let's say open Google Maps. Google Maps is now open here. Now we're going to click here where it says jump, we're going to click here on the little ball. We're going to make some adjustments here. Now we're going to click here on notifications, we're going to enable these notifications. We go back, we return and enter, they are now open. Now what we're going to do is click here where it says, locate. Location, we click OK, we click on accessibility settings. We enable this menu, then we go back. We're going to click here where it says Google Location Settings. We'll give it to you here, on this one we're pointing to that says, All, 
here we're going to give you more. Show system and as you can see there. The first option shows us what Google Play services are. Let's select it, let's click here where it says disable. We disabled these Google services. Now we're going to restart our device. After we restart our device, we'll wait until it takes us to the start. As we told you from the beginning of the video tutorial that in the video description and the first pinned comment are in the video description. Other methods completely without a PC and other methods using a PC. Those who wish to recover their device can do so in this way. Now what we're going to do is wait for our restart the device and then we'll be able to configure it. If you follow us step by step, as we are saying and are by doing this in this video tutorial you will be able to this will solve this problem and you will be able to recover it in this way. Now what we're going to do is click here on next. Let's click next. We'll wait until we get here to the Wi-Fi network. We're going to get to where the Wi-Fi network is. It seems our phone got stuck. At the end of the video, when we've recovered our device, I'll tell you to teach how to correct these mistakes because these are mistakes that we always have left on our phone when we're recovering it. It sticks to us, it stays with us. Paralyzed, as it has now, it also says that the application has stopped. If the operating system continues to crash, let's press volume up. Volume down to activate the Talbat. Let's activate the Talbat, we'll give it the first option. We press volume up, volume down again. We draw a letter L pointing downwards and forwards. We double click, we click. Mind back here, now we deactivate. We're going to click here on this little arrow. Let's click on the little arrow. And it seems that we're still stuck here. As we can see, we have this problem. So what we're going to do is deactivate it. I'm going to verbally deactivate the Wi-Fi network. We're going to deactivate it. We activate it, we deactivate it, we deactivate it, sorry, and then we activate it. We press next, if we see that it's working here now. Now what we're going to do again is click here on skip. Now we're left with these errors here and there. Now we go back here and tell. Let's see if Google services open up here. Nothing, no, we click here on the little ball. Nothing, we get nothing more, well, having said that, if we get nothing more. We're going to insert the locked card with the same pin code, we're going to insert it. Now we're going to remove that SIN card. We removed it. We lower the notifications, select the date again, day, month and year, the calendar. We tell him no, we click here in settings, the three dots, share. We select Gmail, we click here on skip. We click on enable to enable Google services. We go back, backwards. Now we're going forward here too. See here, click on skip. Now we're going to disable the Wi-Fi network so that the skip option is enabled here. I already disabled the Wi-Fi network. Now we click on skip, we click accept. To jump, click here. Next, and we click. 
This way we'll be able to recover our device. That's why it's always recommended to watch the step-by-step -step video tutorial. Step-by-step -step how we correct the remaining errors on our phone. As we told you, our phone still has some errors. How are we going to fix it? I'll explain. You're going to go to settings. Then go to settings, go to about phone, and tap on reset. When you completely reset your phone, you'll to reconfigure it as we just did. You will do it through this process. If you find out if our video works for you, subscribe and turn on notifications. Ring this bell, like it, share it, and leave a powerful comment. That's all for today.